by the horrific event that took place in Nubalde, Texas. Please pause for a moment of silence. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Greg Morton, principal of Brooklyn Casey High School, and I'd like to welcome our families, guests, and dignitaries to our 2022 commencement ceremony. Please be reminded that this is a formal ceremony, so please respect all of the graduates when celebrating your graduate. Thank you and please enjoy this special day.
Mark time. March. Color reverse. March. Color guard. Ball. Freezing. Color. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Oh, see, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly sheen. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, Good morning, class of 22, family, friends, and distinguished guests. I am Dylan Whitman, and I have had the honor of serving as student body president here at Brooklyn Casey this past year. On behalf of my fellow graduates, I'd like to welcome you all here to Fort Knox Stadium for our commencement ceremony. In a few moments, my fellow graduates and I will become Brooklyn Casey alumni. Thank you to everyone here who has played a vital role in our growth as students, athletes, musicians, actors, and citizens. Without your love and support, we would not be walking this stage today. This year's graduating class is something special. From the moment you step foot in Brooklyn Casey, you are part of the Bearcat family, and that's what makes BC so special. For the past four years, my classmates and I have made memories on this field and here at this school. From winning multiple region championships, sleeping on the field telling scary stories, and claiming the Battle of the Classes championship, Brooklyn Casey has been our home and we have become family. Some of these graduates will become third or fourth generation BC alumni, and this community has rallied to support this group through the journeys we have taken. Through a pandemic, mask and unmasked, classes held virtually on a hybrid schedule and in person, the class of 22 in our community have stuck together and made the best out of these unprecedented circumstances. We've rallied together to support one another during sporting events, concerts, and performances. We have become one another's support systems, friends, and most of all, a Bearcat family. To my fellow graduates, wherever life takes you, whether it is far away or even back here to Casey, always remember where you came from and your memories you made here at BCHS, and that you always have a place to come back to. Everyone here supporting you today will be here for the years to come, so always remember your Bearcat family has your back. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors, and know that you can succeed in whatever you do. Thank you, Class of 22, for the best four years of my life. Thank you for the laughs, the cries, and the lifelong memories. But most of all, thank you for being my family. Always and forever, hail to thee, dear Brooklyn Casey. Good morning. My name is Ainsley Allen, and I've had the absolute honor and privilege of serving as the president of the class of 2022 for the past four years. In a few moments, each and every one of you sitting before me is going to walk across this stage and receive your high school diploma from Brooklyn Casey High School. I know that you've oftentimes heard adults at this school and administrators talk about the value of a Brooklyn Casey diploma 
and how the outreach of the Bearcat family can always help you in the future. But before we walk across the stage, I want to remind you of the school's great motto, enter to learn, go forth to serve. At one point or another, each of us entered the doors of Brooklyn Casey for the first time. For some of us, it was August of 2018. For some of us, we joined as recently as January 2022. Whether it was August 2018, or just recently as this second semester, or any time in between, we all entered. And despite what some of you might think, you did learn something. It might have been about math or social studies, or it could have been about relationships or communication, but we have all entered and learned. Now that we're here today, we have completed the first part of our school's motto. It is now that I challenge you to go forth and serve. After you walk across this stage today and leave Brooklyn Casey for the first time as an alumni, it is now time for you to begin your own journey outside of these walls. Some of us will be off to college, others to join the workforce or the military. Whatever your next chapter may be, I encourage you to live in the Bearcat way and go forth to serve others. As we prepare to leave the walls of Brooklyn Casey, I encourage you to think of a classmate, faculty member, or staff within the school that has helped show you the Bearcat way. Even think of a family member, a BC alumnus, or another adult who has guided you along the way. Reflect on your years here. Who is the Bearcat who shared their time with you when you needed it the most? Who extended a kindness when you were having a low day? If that person is a teacher, I challenge you to find them today and thank them. If that person is a fellow graduate, I encourage you to let them know as you say goodbye today. For myself, I need you to say thank you to one person who made every single thing that we did as a class possible. Without Miss Tiffany All, we never would have had such an incredible four years. This speech, or any amount of thank yous, will never be enough to truly show the appreciation that I have for Miss All and her hard work year in and year out as our class sponsor. Anytime we needed something done, or I had a crazy fundraising idea to bounce off of her, she was always there to listen and support us. She came to every event, brought from every fundraiser, and supported every endeavor. Not only has Ms. All been a tremendous sponsor for us these past four years, but she herself is a BC alumni and truly lives the Bearcat way. She truly embodies what it means to go forth and serve. With that, I encourage you once more to go forth and serve. Here's to you, class of 2022. Good morning. I'd like to introduce Mr. Barry Bolin. He is a familiar face in Lexington School District 2. Mr. Bolin earned a bachelor's degree from Newberry College in 1972 and a master's degree in educational administration from the University of South Carolina in 1973. In 1998, he joined Lexington 2 as principal of former middle school. He also was principal of Brooklyn Casey High School. He served Lexington 2 as assistant superintendent and then was superintendent from 2000 through 2008. Mr. Bolin has worked in Lexington School District 2 for a total of 34 years. Beyond Lexington 2, Mr. Bolin was on the South Carolina State Board of Education for four years and was chairman in 2018. He and his wife, Anne, have been married for 47 years. They have four children, all of whom attended Lexington 2 schools, and they now have nine grandchildren. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Bolin. Thank you and welcome. It is truly an honor for me and the Board of Trustees of Lexington II to see this day come and to help celebrate uh, the important event. Uh, our board is sitting on my right, and I would like to recognize them at this time. And uh, please stand and remain standing until all seven of you can be recognized. Starting uh, with our board chair, 
Ms. Christine Rucker. Christina Rucker. The uh, vice chair, Ms. Beth Branham. The secretary, Ms. Cindy Kessler. Board member Liz Chitty. Board member Liz Linda Wooten. Board member Trey Bright. And board member Bud Summers. Please join me in thanking these people for what they do. They do a lot. Thank you. Today marks the end of your K-12 education. At the same time, the day you need to celebrate with your families. We want to thank your families. This is a day of celebration. Tomorrow marks a new beginning, and you will begin a new journey in your life and, and start a new chapter. So with that being said, I want to say uh, congratulations on behalf of the board to y'all. Congratulations. Good luck, and God bless each of you. Thank you.
I would like to start off by saying congratulations to the class of 2022 and that I am grateful for all of our experiences together and relationships made that will last a lifetime. I am Abby Boone and it is my honor to introduce our salutatorian today. Ainsley is a highly motivated and hardworking student who always strives for success. She's a natural born leader and her ability to lead and engage with those around her has guided her to help make our senior year and overall high school experience one filled with many fun events, fundraisers, and a stronger sense of community. Ainsley consistently exceeds expectations and I have always admired her dedication to her community, school, family, and fellow classmates. She truly has a heart for serving others and giving her absolute best in any situation. And I'm so thankful for our friendship and her leadership. Ainsley and I met in sixth grade and have since been in many classes and school clubs together over the past seven years. One of my favorite memories of Ainsley was surviving Latin four together with the help of Milano cookies and chocolate hazelnut cream straws. Ainsley has served as the president of the class of 2022 freshman year all the way to her senior year. She has dedicated her time and efforts to numerous school sports teams, clubs, and activities. Some of her involvements include Student Council, National Honor Society, Honors Choir, Varsity Soccer, and Cross Country. This fall, Ainsley is planning to attend Clemson University to major in biochemistry and eventually go to PA school. I am fully confident in saying that Ainsley will continue to pursue and accomplish great successes in her future, and her impact on BC will never be forgotten. I am proud to introduce to you the class of 2022 salutatorian, Ainsley Allen. I've had the pleasure of not only being classmates with Abby over the years, but also serving on student council with her for the past four years. She's also been on it with me for all of those four years. Um, Abby is hands down the most hardworking yet kind person that you could ever meet. I'm honored to have been introduced by her. Abby will be attending the University of South Carolina Honors College in the fall and will be a part of the prestigious Gamecock Pharmacy Assurance Program. Well, I'm back again. I've seen you up here twice, but this is the last time that I'm going to have to speak, so just bear with me for just a couple more minutes. Um, I can say that this speech was a lot more difficult to write than my previous one. Because for me personally, it's gonna be really difficult to look back and be ready to leave Brooklyn Casey High School. I struggle with what to say because how can you encompass four unforgettable years in just a few minutes? How can I describe and find the words to describe all of the memories made with my fellow classmates? Some of which I've known for a few weeks and others that I've known for over 15 years. Well, I still don't think that I've truly found the right words. I hope that I've come close. Brooklyn Casey has been my home for the past four years, both literally and figuratively. I've probably spent more hours here over the past four years than I have at my actual house. Between the actual school day, extracurricular activities, soccer and cross country, I don't even want to try and count that many hours. Not only that, but BC has been my safe place over these years. It's filled with the people that I love, where I've made so many unforgettable memories. A home is just more than four walls and a roof. Home is where the heart is. I know that many of us grew up with Hannah Montana, so I want to remind you of the song, You'll Always Find Your Way Back Home. I hope that all of you know that you will always have a home here at Brooklyn Casey and in the Casey West Columbia community. Well, I don't want to be stereotypical and say that we've had so many ups and downs, but we made it through. It's true, we have. From COVID-19 to hybrid learning schedules to mask mandates and the friendships, relationships, laughter, and tears in between, these past four years have had their downs. But we've also had incredible ups we had a full year of normal school as freshmen and most of sophomore year. Football on Friday nights. We made three incredible homecoming floats 
and participated in three valuable classes. We won a state championship in boys soccer. We became region champions in countless other sports for several years and made the playoffs in many others. Yet in every step of the way, our community was there, supporting and rallying behind us. Our home at Brooklyn Casey and the Bearcat family helped us cope with all of these ups and downs. But we found our way, just like in every family. We didn't always do things the orthodox way, but we did it our way, and that's what's most important. We did it as a Bearcat family. I would like to thank a couple of people in particular who helped me along my way here at Brooklyn Casey. Thank you to Ms. Humphreys, who was always a beacon of light and joy, even on the darkest days. Thank you to Dr. Gant, who was hands down the hardest teacher that I've ever had, but she pushed me harder than any teacher and wasn't afraid to tell me to go back and do it again because it wasn't right the first time. Finally, I can't go without thanking Ms. Tiffany All one more time. I've grown up with Ms. All, and so not only did she serve as our class sponsor over these past four years, but she was also my mom away from home the first person that I knew that I could always come to. I would also like to thank the families that are present today, not only my own, but of all of my fellow graduates. From rides to school, helping out with homework, supporting us in all of our endeavors, and being there for us with unwavering support. We couldn't have done it without you these past four years. Finally, I would like to thank you, class of 2022. Without all of you, I wouldn't be standing up here today. Without each other, none of us would be sitting here today. We did it together. We finally made it. I would like to wish each and every one of you the best of luck in your future endeavors. And as always, go Bearcats. My name is Katie Welch, and it is my pleasure to introduce to you today our valedictorian, Amanda Lamb. I would start by saying that Amanda is an amazing student, which she is, but you already know that, or I wouldn't be introducing her as our valedictorian, and she is so much more than that. This past school year, our senior year, seemed to fly by. It was a year of laughs, a year of fun, and of tears, and of moving on. It was our last year together as Bearcats, and it was this year that I truly got to know Amanda Lamb. I didn't know Amanda before we met our freshman year, and to be honest, I hardly heard her speak a single word those first few semesters. But even if I couldn't hear it, I could see her kindness and humility every day. I've played tennis for BC for many seasons, and for a lot of those years, I was the only one in my class on the team. Until this fall, when Amanda joined. I remember her telling me that one of the reasons she joined was because she didn't want her, her little sister didn't want to go to practice alone. This one act really shows her values, her love for her family, and her overall kindness, because I don't know a lot of people willing to chase after tennis balls in 100 degree heat for their younger sibling, but Amanda did. And she played for the rest of the season with the determination and perseverance that I came to admire. Not only did she play varsity tennis, but was a key member of the varsity soccer team as well. When I first saw her play, I thought, what can't this girl do? Because outside of being a great athlete, Amanda's an actress, performing in two school productions this year with our theater program. Her teachers love her, her classmates admire her, and you'd be hard pressed to find someone with a bad word to say against her. She is so smart, if a little quiet, but I soon learned that if you get to speaking with her, she actually has a lot to say. Amanda is so genuine and kind in everything she does, and she cares so deeply about our school, her classmates, and her community. I'm so glad that next fall we'll be on campus together at Clemson University, where Amanda will be majoring in landscape architecture. So it is my honor to introduce one of the kindest and smartest people I've ever met, our valedictorian of the class of 2022, Amanda Lamb. Thank you, Gabe. I have known well, since freshman year, as you said, through the Quest program, and most recently on the Quest team. 
And Kitty is also such a hard worker. She's a very friendly conversationalist and a sincere friend. She will be attending Clemson University this fall for biology. Now, today I will start with a possibly surprising statement. Stress is good. You may not have heard this, and you may not agree with it. When I hear it, I too feel a little skeptical. But this is something I heard in my psychology class. What that particular lesson teaches is that there's good stress, eustress, and bad stress, distress. There are things that motivate and things that inhibit. People around us can be both. And today, as we step off this stage with high school behind us, we put behind the whole community of teachers and classmates with it. As some of us leave home this fall, or even summer, we face an onslaught of new decisions and responsibilities as the web of people and places around us changes. This school and those in it have done all they're able to, and I do want to take a minute to thank them for it. Thank you to the teachers that have supported me. Thank you to the administrators who keep order and keep the school running. Thank you to the coaches and club organizers, to my peers and teammates. You have given us amazing opportunities, and I know I would not be here today without you. Now, as we move to new buildings, professors, workplaces, not everything can stay the same. We're still growing into our shoes, but the next steps are ours to take of our own volition. Maybe there aren't many options forward, maybe even only one, but each one of us has to take the risk to make the step on our own. No one can act in another's place. Whether the road is daunting or exciting, each choice is one we have to make independently and with intention, living actively, not passively. But that does not mean we have to walk alone. With each step through graduation, moving to new dorms or facing new communities and training or work, as the people in your life drift away, the burdens can be hard to carry alone. But that is not how it should be. Change can be a challenge, but it's also an opportunity. Some friendships will fade, and in some cases they should, as friends are outgrown or influences cause hurt. But as old ties fall away, make sure to find new healthy connections, and don't easily dismiss what you already have. New and old friends and mentors alike can nurture well-being and personal growth. It is important for us to keep and find people to come alongside us through life, who support, teach, and encourage us in each step we take, as we do the same for them. No friend is perfect, nor are all friends compatible, but the companionship and conversation friends offer can be a positive stress in life that alleviates the distress that halts our growth. Proverbs 27, verse 17 reads, As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Essentially, one person's actions, words, advice, and attitude can refine another person. Whether through competition, example, kind words, advice, or support, the right friends and mentors can bring a certain level of positive pressure to keep us afloat. This is good friendship to develop each other's strengths and weaknesses in a healthy and earnest way. I personally find a steady companion and guide in God, even as peers come and go. This sharpening is a responsibility to keep up with, but good stress pushes us to new heights. So with this conclusion of our high school years together, think, who and where do I want to be, and who will I make the journey with? Thank you. It is my honor and pleasure to introduce the principal of Brooklyn Casey High School, Mr. Greg Morton. Mr. Morton served for 12 years as a coach, teacher, and assistant principal in the Clover School District before coming to the Columbia area. He served as principal of Pine Ridge Middle School from 2002 to 2007 and was the principal of Dutch Fork High School from 2007 to 2012. Mr. Morton became the principal at Brooklyn Casey in 2012, making the class of 2022 his 10th year anniversary class as principal of BC. Mr. Morton enjoys traveling with his wife, Beth, and son, Jackson, who will be attending Furman University in the fall to study piano performance. 
The class of 2022 has been a special class for Mr. Morton as he has watched us handle the pandemic and a variety of educational challenges with resilience. Mr. Morton dedicates himself and his work to fully exemplify the mission statement, enter to learn and go forth to serve. Let us please welcome Mr. Greg Morton. Thank you. I, I, before I start my speech, I'd like to recognize some of the uh, special guests that are here today, and we really appreciate you being here to celebrate these wonderful graduates. Trevor Bedell, the Mayor Pro Tem, West Columbia. Uh, Micah Kasky, South Carolina House District 89. And Nikki Setzler, Senator, South Carolina District 26, celebrating his uh, granddaughter's uh, graduation. And um, uh, Elise Parton, our wonderful mayor of the city of Casey, here celebrating her son's graduation. So we really appreciate those special guests being here. Also in attendance, uh, who played a big part in your behind the scenes, uh, our district office staff who are here, Travis Crocker, Chief Financial Officer, Dr. Angela Cooper, Chief Human Resource Officer, Dr. Dixon Brooks, Chief Instructional Officer, Brian Chapman, Chief Operations Officer, and Don Kujawa, Public Information Officer, and Rob Burgraff, Director of Instruction. And then also, probably some of the most important people that played a part uh, in you getting here are the previous principals that you've had uh, in our district. So I'd like to recognize them at this time. Stephanie Hux, Principal of Cyril B. Busby Creative Arts Academy. Uh, Anna Ubersall, Principal of Northside Middle School. Uh, Andrew Drozdak, Principal of Casey Elementary School. David Sims, Principal of Riverbanks Elementary School. Jim LeBlanc, Principal of Sal Saluda River Academy of the Arts. And Joni Coleman, Director, Lexington Two Innovation Center. So we really appreciate all the work that you've done in the years previous to them getting to this point. All right, so you guys, seniors, you've completed another journey and we'll begin embarking on a new one. At the end of this ceremony, you will no longer be seniors, you will be graduates of Brooklyn Casey High School and a part of a rich tradition of Bearcat alumni. And I think you've heard a similar theme throughout a lot of these speeches. We did not coordinate that. It has been my privilege to have been a part of this journey as your principal for the past four years and always know Brooklyn Casey High School will always be home. During your four years at BC, we shared many great experiences as well as many obstacles. But you know, all great achievements involve obstacles. So what we went through will really teach you a lot. The pandemic, all the different things that we did to, to get back to normal, hybrid, all those things played a part in where you are today. All achievements do involve obstacles. And Frank A. Clark once said, if you can find a path with no obstacles, it probably doesn't lead anywhere. As an inventor, Thomas Edison made 1,000 unsuccessful attempts at inventing the light bulb. When a reporter asked, how did it feel to fail 1,000 times? Edison replied, I didn't fail 1,000 times. The light bulb was an invention with 1,000 steps. Mistakes will be a part of your future. As you head into your next adventure, some of you will choose the wrong major and end up paying thousands of extra in student loans. But you will learn to be more frugal. You will miss deadlines and be late, but all of these things will make you grow and change. Your mistakes will become as important as your successes because they will define you. It is all about how you respond to your mistakes. So don't aim for perfect. Instead, it is better to be flawed as long as you keep trying. You are not really trying if you don't make mistakes. So thank parents and teachers for letting us make mistakes. This time, I'd like to recognize the faculty of Brooklyn Casey High School. Let's give them a round of applause for allowing you to make those mistakes and learning from them. So we thank you for molding us into the imperfect creatures that we are today. And most of all, thank you for allowing us to learn from our mistakes as we move forward into our future adventures. Robert Orban said, a graduation ceremony is an event where the commencement speaker tells thousands of students dressed in identical caps and gowns that individuality is the key to success. So be your own ind individual after today. John Stewart, 
The unfortunate yet truly exciting thing about your life is there is no core curriculum. The entire place is an elective. So explore. Ed Helms, so long as you desire to explore is greater than your desire to not screw up, you're on the right track. So take chances, make mistakes, and do great things. In less than an hour, we will all walk out of Bearcat Stadium and go our separate ways. Brooklyn Casey High School will be represented all across this country and throughout the world. At this time, I'd like to recognize a special group of students who will be sharing their talents to protect and serve our country. Would all of our graduates who will be joining the military please stand? Let's recognize all these brave young adults for the round of applause. Our goal at Brooklyn Casey High School is to give all you all the tools necessary for you to be successful at whatever you choose to do. Four years ago, you entered Brooklyn Casey High School to learn. It is now time to go forth and serve. Would the class of 2022 please present themselves for the awarding of diplomas? Amanda Joy Lamb. Valedictorian, Honors of Distinction, Palmetto Fellows, South Carolina Academic Honors Award. Ainsley Grace Allen. Salutatorian, Senior President, Honors of Distinction, Palmetto Fellows, South Carolina Academic Honors Award. Caitlin Elizabeth Welch. Honors of Distinction, Palmetto Fellows, South Carolina Academic Honors Award. Abigail, Abigail Eliza, Eliza Boone, Senior, Senior Vice, Vice President, President Honors of Distinction, Distinction, Palmetto Fellows, South Carolina, South Carolina Academic, Academic Honors Award. Award. Dylan, Dylan Keith Whitman, Whitman Student, Student Body, Body President, 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 Honors of Distinction. 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 Margaret, Margaret Abigail, Abigail Caldwell, 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 Senior Secretary, Secretary Honors of Distinction. Honors Distinction. Distinction. Isaiah, Isaiah Joseph Swoboe, honors. <laughs> Alejandro Rubio Ortega, honors for distinction. Joshua Shannon Rega, honors for distinction, Palmetto Fellows. Madison Lee Bell. Bell. Honor to distinction. Keelan McCall Cooper Brooks. Honor to distinction. Sydney Catherine Ray Davis. Student Body Secretary. Honor to distinction. Palmetto Fellows. Cole Patrick Geyer. Honor to distinction. Palmetto Fellows. Macy, Macy Kaden Giles, Giles honors of distinction. distinction. David, David Taylor, Taylor Hoffman, Hoffman honors of distinction, distinction. Palmetto Fellows, South, South Carolina, Carolina Academic, Academic Honors Award. Award. Jay Lee, Lee Utica, honors of distinction. Honor distinction. Hannah, Hannah Elizabeth, Elizabeth Osmer, 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 Senior, Senior Treasurer, Treasurer on Honor Distinction. Distinction. Joseph, Joseph Alexander, Alexander Parton, Parton Honor Distinction, Honor Distinction Palmetto, Palmetto Fellows. Fellows. Joseph! Jacob, Jacob Presley, Presley Pence, Pence Honor, Honor Distinction, Distinction Palmetto, Palmetto Fellows, Fellows, South, South Carolina, Carolina Academic, Academic Honor Award. Award. Lydia, Lydia Lyons, Lyons Pettit. Honor of Distinction, Palmetto Fellows. Owen Charles, Charles Plain, Honor of Distinction. Distinction. Alexander, Alexander Lee Player, player. Honor of Distinction. Distinction. Alex. 
Bruce, Bruce Law, Law Powers. Powers. Honors, Honors Distinction, Distinction Palmetto, Palmetto Fellows, Fellows, South, South Carolina, Carolina Academic, 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 Academic Award. Award. Alexander, Alexander Ramirez, Ramirez. Honors, Honors, Honors Distinction. Distinction. Yurek Ramirez, Ramirez. Honors, Honors Distinction. Distinction. Olivia, Olivia Margaret, Margaret Smith, Smith. Honors, Honors with Distinction. Sydney, Sydney Caroline, Caroline Springs. Springs. Honors, Honors with Distinction, with distinction. Palmetto 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 Palmetto. Palmetto. Ethan, Ethan Isaac, Isaac Atkins. 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 Honors. 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 Masuma Al-Rasham, Honors. Honors. Nargis Al-Rasham, High Honors. Ariana Patricia Anderson. Damian Xavier Andrews, Honors. Cash Alexander Antonio. Mark David Dondrell. Angel Yvonne Marietos Reyes. Anthony, Anthony Steve, Steve Barrow. Barrow. Dana, Dana Scarlett, Scarlett Bellow. Caesar, Caesar Vladimir, Vladimir Bumudez, Bumudez Mabrano. Tatiana Yamalev from Brunez, John Wesley Browder, Browder. High, high honors. honors. Janaya Chantel, Chantel Brown. 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 Shaisha Tara Brown. Brown. Dania Cabrera-Lopez, Honors. Caleb Nguyen, Cape. Cape. Alyssa, Alyssa Marie, Marie Cardona, Cardona. High, High Honors. honors. <laughs> Anna, Anna Marie, Marie Carrington. Carrington. Luke, Luke Grayson, Grayson Carroll. Carroll. Janet Janice Elise. 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 Jackson, Jackson Ben, ben Chafin. Parker, Parker Wiley, Wiley Chafin. Chafin. Jaden Christian Chandler. Chandler. Sanaya Tidalin Chesney. High, High honors. honors. Aubrey, Aubrey Ellen, Ellen Clark. Clark. Honors. honors. Latrell Daniel, Daniel Clark. Clark. Casey, Casey Elizabeth, Elizabeth Corkley, High Honors. honors. Sarah, Sarah K. K. Corkley, Honors. honors. William, William Edward, Edward Cole 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 Cole. Cole. 
Blues Blues Ben shall never have broke out of us. Antonio will never have broke out of Cecilia Sophia Cunningham, high on us. Barry and Shannon Curry, on us. Tanaya Monet Dabney. Ashton and John Dabney. Jeremy, Jeremy Renton Project, Project Daniels. Daniels. Oh, April, April Caroline, Caroline Bandera. Bandera. Oh, Hi, Hans. Imani, Imani Latrell Latre Davis. Davis. Oh, Xavier, Xavier Augustus, Augustus Davis. Davis. Zermani Danielle Davis, Davis. Honest. Michaela Shanice Devalder Wayden, Honest. Eric, Eric Domingo Salas. Winston, Winston Keenan and Drady, High Honest. Austin, Austin Ellis, Ellis Duncan. Duncan. Oh, oh. Shelby, Shelby Page Duncan. Duncan. <laughs> Terenzi Judy Duran. <laughs> Kimaya Abias Eaglin. Brian, Brian and Matthew, Matthew Edwards. Edwards. <laughs> Carly, Carly and Deanna Elliott. Elliot. <laughs> Nicholas, Nicholas Rahim and Ellison. Ellison. Yeah. Yeah. Christian, Christian Marquis for second. second. Santiago, Santiago and Juan 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 Logan, Logan Alexandra, Alexandra Gentile, Gentile. Honest. <laughs> Nivea, Nivea Sore Glover, Honest. <laughs> Brianna Sherelle Gray, Honest. Chancellor, Chancellor Wade Gear. Keep on Devante. Yes. yes. High on Yeah. Yes. Maggie, Maggie Grace, Grace Hadley. Hadley. Honest. Honest. <laughs> Zaylin, Zaylin Lamar Hall. Hall. Christian, Christian Charles, Charles. 
Irene, Irene Esther, Esther Hernandez. Hernandez. Jose, Jose Manuel, Manuel Hernandez. Hernandez. High honors. Javier Josias Hernandez, 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 Hernandez. 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 honors. Dinary Hernandez of Terry Allen Hildebrand II. High honors. Kayla Nicole, Nicole Hoffman. Hoffman. Yeah. Ethan, Ethan Jaquan Howard. Howard. Deshaun Lee Howell. Sarah N.A. Tutu. A.A. Twain. Honors. David James Hudson. Down the Rocco Thomas Humphreys. Waleed Ephraim. Congratulations! Ali William Jackson. Jackson. Jeremiah Deshaun Jackson. Rachel, Rachel Sabrina Jameson. Brandon, Brandon Jimenez Cortez. Dylan Jimenez Pacheco. Henry, Henry Abel, Abel Johnson. Johnson. Caitlin, Caitlin Elizabeth, Elizabeth Jordan. Jordan. Nia Shafirian, Jesus Christ. Judah Woodrow Kelly. Johnny Rashad Kennedy. Emily Elizabeth Colonel. Honors. Joshua Timothy Kennard. Skyler Eugene King. Honors. Nicholas Deshaun Lane. Deontay Nasir Lane. Honors. Jack Fripp Lane. Honors. Tanaya Tiara Ayala. Honors. Dijanae Haley McGree. Noah J. Slater. Elias Morgan Leone. On honor. Michael Parker Libby. Rayquan Shaheen Logan. Ashley, Ashley 
Ashley Amari Long. Lainey Mary Elizabeth Long. Jessica Lopez Leon. Gianna Raymond Borg. Marie Elizabeth Mack Honors. Salini Alexandra Madrid Mendez. Jose Antonio Madrid Perez. Jaden Christina Malpas. Tony, Tony Allen McCoy. McCoy. <laughs> Zaika Tatanibi McCray. <laughs> Michael Omar McAdoo. Jack, Jack Thompson McClellan. Fabiola Mejia Sinto, high honors. Honors. Christopher Corey Bennett. <laughs> Eduardo Alejandro Boys of the Brave. Mackenzie Tadeja Xavier Boy, honors. Eleazar Morales-Sellas, honors. Alex Romeo Morales-Ventura. Leanna Anaya Mosley. Christopher Josue Morillo Padilla. Amaya Tychel Murphy. Hannah Olivia Murray. High honors. Ian Amari Myers. Honors. Samaria Shelley Waverly Nelson. Kayla Vanessa Nunez Gonzalez. Tara Ann O'Toole. Thomas Mitchell Osworth III. High honors. Malani Laverne Owens, high honors. <laughs> Jeremiah Gabriel Palhamore. Humberto Pedraza Rodriguez. Spence Alexander Peters. <laughs> Leanna Rose Kishi. Chaz Everett Pierce. Pierce. Caroline, Caroline Grace, Grace Pittman. Pittman. High honors. Miguel and Hell Fatero's Rose. Dakira Rose. The the Love Portofino. Ah! 
Corey Bird Pound. Henry, Henry Jeffy, Jeffy Dillon, Dillon Brinkman, Brinkman, Honors. Honors. Jalen Murray, Brinkman, Brinkman, Honors. Honors. James, James Leon, Leon Quattlebaum. Bryce, Bryce Edward, Edward Hatterford. Catherine Dylan, Dylan Andre, Andre Rivera-Lopez. Dylan, Dylan Alexander, Alexander Roberts. Roberts. High honors. Robert Ramirez, Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Honors. Dylan, Dylan Alexander, Alexander Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Brent, Brent Douglas, Douglas Russell. Russell. Rebecca Rosalinda Santiago Gregorio. Jaden Christopher Shires. Isaiah Carl Sephiris. Misty Ariana Sephiris. Brandon Michael Singleton. Logan Connors Hall. Jada Nicole Smith. Jacqueline Imani Smith. Shamara Makita Smith. Aiden Matthew Smith. Hunter, Hunter Lee Stallions. Ainsley Christina State. Simon Savelle Deuce. Evan, Evan Wayne Sturgis. Darby, Darby Marie Sutton. Morgan, Morgan Elizabeth, Elizabeth White. High honors. Gabriella Marie Zuman. Jefferson Turnerman. Chandler Fleming and Ford. Rayshawn Darke Ford. Mason Riley Turner. Vicky Valdez Pascal. High honors. Damian Vasquez Catana. Honors. Jaden Marcel Ferberi. Honors. May Hua. Honors. Alicia, Alicia Chardonnay, Chardonnay Walker. Walker. 
Stephen Stephen Michelle. Michelle. Yeah. Tashana Cole Walker Miller. Jackson, Jackson Morris. Morris. Jackson! Tanaya Marie Warren. Aaron Murray, Wayne Wayne. Ariana Nicolette Webb, Honors. Alexandria Morgan Whitney. Terrence Martell, Wilder. Madison Brantley Williams. Amaya Sakishi J. Wilson. Honors. Jordan Amaya Williams. Ava Elizabeth Zorner. Honors. Would the class of 2022 please stand?
Oh, you got